If you type in any of these things on Google, you need to get help fast. Seriously fast. What's happening guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about the 10 things you should never type in on Google. There is an important reason why you should never Google your name. And if you're feeling ill, you should never Google symptoms of what it could be. The things I'm going to tell you, everybody needs to know and will 100% help you out in the future. So make sure you watch the video right the way through to the end because some of these things are absolutely insane. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications and let's jump straight into today's video. In most cases, Google can be a great help in finding something that you're looking for. But in other cases, it can work completely against you. So counting down from 10, here's a list of the things you should never ever Google. At number 10, mouth lava. If you're searching for pictures of moth larvae, make sure that you don't accidentally type in the word mouth instead. Instead of pictures of household pests, you'll find pictures of humans and other animals with larvae crawling between their teeth. You will never be able to unsee these images or videos. At number nine, Brazilian girls. Fans of the band Brazilian girls should add more search terms than just the name of the band. Unless they want to see a bunch of waxing tutorials and butts. Lots of butts. At number eight, bed bugs. Learning the basics of bed bugs and traveling is probably a good idea. But if you're looking to avoid stress, maybe not. Five minutes of exposure to the warning signs of bed bugs could convince even the discerning people that these six-legged intruders are hiding in their bedding. For example, within a day of Googling bed bugs, most people will throw away their perfectly good bed sheets. That's $45 you're never getting back. At number seven, things people have found in fast food. People claim to have found everything from hardware parts to whole chicken heads in their fast food. And if you read enough of these accounts, your option for guilt-free dining could be severely limited. That's if you still have an appetite at all. At number six, belly button bugs. Your belly button harbors what scientists have described to be a rainforest of bacteria. This Google search term will show pictures of insect bites and recently pierced, seriously infected navels. At number five, whatever medical symptom you have right now. If you're feeling ill, call your doctor. Spending any amount of time researching your symptoms online could easily convince you that your cold is actually a rare genetic disease or that an upset stomach is cancer. So just don't do it. At number four, got spoilers. It's hard enough to avoid Stranger Things spoilers on the internet. Leaks of video and scripts from future episodes are ridiculously easy to find if you're looking. If you want to maintain the element of surprise for the rest of your series, avoid this search completely. At number three, anything criminal. Okay, this one is extremely serious. Just out of curiosity, you might look up how to make a bomb or how to make drugs. But just make sure you realise that security and drug control services track all of these types of searches. And your IP address will appear in any of these types of databases. And these types of searches can get you in serious trouble from just being curious. At number two, your own name. It's not unfamiliar that people question their own privacy while using the internet. This is why if you Google your own name, you will probably come across some unpleasant results, including irrelevant content and some probably really bad photos of you. And if you do stumble across something like this, you're going to want to delete it all immediately. However, it's not that simple to do. So without going through the stress of all of this, maybe just don't Google your own name at all. However, hit the like button if you have Googled your name at least once in your life. I know you have. Everybody's done it. Go on. I'll wait for you for a minute. Done? Happy days, let's go. And at number one, bot fly removal. If you have, you will already know, but this will be the quickest you will ever close a browser tab in your life. The search comes up with a video of a man removing a parasitic fleshy in bot fly maggot from underneath his skin. Blech. So just never Google that. But there you have it guys, 10 things you should never ever Google. And if you do, you need to get help. Fast. It's crazy to think that just typing in the most simple thing on Google just out of curiosity can mess with your head and put you in extreme danger. These are just some things that I'm happy I now know and thought all you guys needed to know as well. But yeah, that's it for today guys. I hope you all enjoyed my third proper YouTube video. I hope you all learned something new for today. If you did enjoy the video and you want to learn more facts that you probably did not know about, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. And I will be posting as much as possible with more videos on things you should stay away from, things you should never do, things you never knew and much more.
So make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see all you guys in the next video. And remember, if you're feeling ill, do not Google the symptoms, just call the doctor quickly and fast.